So that was, uh, and this is the view of my my mornings when I take uh, the puppy Duke out. Uh, I did try to do this the other morning, but um, to 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 film this video, but uh, Duke was being a complete dick and was uh, trying to play with every runner that came near us. And unfortunately, runners don't seem to appreciate Duke. Uh, running with them and nipping at their heels. I don't know why, but um, it serves them right for running, I guess, anyway. So, I wanted to briefly talk about probably the most underrated exercise there is, and that is walking. Um, I'm not a big fan of cardio. I don't mind it here and there. I don't do it, but I don't mind my clients doing it. But in terms of actual general health and wellness, uh, walking is highly underrated and people should be doing more of it um, in terms of if you've got high stress levels it's great for a de-stress it's great for blood flow around the body it's great for burning calories and if you're training for something and you need to move a bit but you're sore and tired then again walking is one of those things that anyone can do and really benefit from. Uh, I was chatting with my sister back in the UK this week. She's now trying to get back into some really consistent exercise. And, uh, you know, she wants to get a, a, a long streak going under and doing something daily. And the thing is, you know, when we put out this uh, the questionnaire for the Change Our Life competition about you must be able to, you know, train seven days a week, it's not about actually being. Uh, you know, training at a high intensity every day, but it's about the ability to be able to do something every day in some regard or other that keeps you moving. You know, I don't know anyone who doesn't have half an hour, even an hour, every day to do something. Um, generally speaking, when you look at your your monthly accounts and you see where you're wasting money, there's normally somewhere where you can cut back on something to, you know, save money or to save for something else kind of thing. And it's the same with our day-to-day -day lives and getting in exercise. Uh, Duke's go off and found, uh, is it a hobo? Oh, fuck. Duke, come on. Arsehole. Anyway, so, uh, <laughs> Duke, no. Hey, oh, fuck. Ah, <sighs> back in a minute. Say hello, Duke, you know, arsehole. Just wants to play with dogs, and, but barks at every bloody person coming along, especially hobos and runners. Maybe there's a correlation between the two, I'm not sure. Anyway, so it's about being able to do something every day. Now, if you, most people look at their daily lives and really analyse where they're spending time, then I don't see any reason why somebody can't do something 30 to 40 minutes a day. Now, be that a quick circuit, some bodyweight work, now, even if you just went to the gym, did five sets of five heavy squats and then left again, that's far better than nothing. But walking, uh, in terms of getting that in, I do this, like I say, 30 to 45 minutes every day. And for me, okay, actually for me, it's not really a de-stressing exercise because I've got to take Duke with me and he's a pain in the ass. But um, in general, incredibly de-stressing. The extra calorie burn you get from it, the blood flow into the joints, you're not sitting down, hopefully out in the fresh air, although if you want to walk on a treadmill at Virgin, it still counts. So people can do something every day, and if you want to do something that's going to benefit you and not cause you any amount of kind of fatigue on any kind of level really, then walking is what I'd recommend.